good morning. Jim from Jim's Holiest Coleus. How are you? How's your how's your Coleus rootings doing? Everybody uh, following along. Are you are you changing your water? I know it's a lot of work. Uh, it seems like a lot every few days. Uh, hey, I get very very busy. I ha I haven't changed them in a week, so it's been like six days. So I'm ahead. But I I did check. I do check them. Uh, I, I didn't change all of my rootings um, in about six days, but there was one or two that I saw that were low on water, and I, that I, I did rinse and change real quick because I was just so busy. So, um, so you may be wondering when I say, "Hey, you know, change them every three or four days." You say, "Oh, what are you crazy? I'm busy." I'm like, "Okay, I understand. You're busy. I'm busy." So, but if you have the time, and the more frequently you change your rootings. Uh, the better off your reading is ruining. So we're going to go and uh, change some water, rinse out some um, some of the root balls. That's very important. Uh, gently, you don't want to disturb a lot. You just want to gently rinse the rinse rinse the root balls. Uh, got a lot of questions. Um, some people say, um, you know, what do you do? Can I can I plant my rootings? Um, you know. Once your rootings, you know, again, there's numerous reasons why people keep rootings. Um, I use their combination to decoration and also because in the spring, my rootings become my planters, my little planters throughout my property. So uh, anyway, if you have a rooting and you really like it and so forth, and you can, you can plant it. You can put a, you know, a little time release fertilizer in just a little bit or maybe a Job's food you know, plant food stick or something like that. But in general, over winter coleus, you don't want to really fertilize. Coleus don't need a lot of fertilization to begin with, but I do. But, you know, by fertilizing them in the winter time, you know, they're going dormant. So you're trying to pro promote growth and so forth when they're really going into a winter. So anyway, yes, you can plant your rootings at any time. I wait, I keep them all through the fall and winter and then I'll plant them outdoors. And then they're nice root ball, as I mentioned, if you're following along, I got a nice established root ball. They're really strong, so the coleus will take really, really well uh, um, when I put them in the planter. Not all coleus do really well over wintering. Certain coleus are very, just by their nature, are very tender. Like some of the, the delicate trailing varieties may not do very well. Um, Let's see. Uh, some I've had some Kongs um, that didn't do very well. They're just the thin leaves, but um, other ones I've had uh, some Defiance did well. My Saturns are doing well. The um, the Fishnet Stocking is doing real well. So those are really the only ones that I that I overwinter because I have so many seeds. Um, and, I, and speaking of seeds, uh, for those of you who don't know, I have an eBay store. Uh, starting tomorrow, I, um, I'll be changing it to Jim's Holiest of Coleus finally. I had to wait, but it's Jim's Coleus right now. If you want to get some seeds off of me, I do sell seeds, so it's on eBay. It's Jim's Coleus. Go over there uh, and get some Jim's Coleus seeds. Uh, I package them up for you. I separate them so and mark them so you know exactly what type of Coleus you're getting. These are all legal, patented, not you know they're non-patented. Um, uh, coleus seeds that are that are legal to propagate. There's certain seeds, there's certain coleus that you're not allowed to propagate. They're patented, uh, and it's out of fairness and so forth. So these are all legal uh, coleus seeds. <clears throat> and again, I, I separate them, mark them, so you pretty much know what you're going to be growing. Uh, can't promise you, like, uh, now put it this way, when I give you a bag of con coleus seeds, that's what's going to grow. I'm not going to give you a con coleus seed, and then you're going to get a wizard um, or what do you call it, a, a purple wizard, a plain wizard or an electric lime. It doesn't work that way. Um, there is always cross-pollinations involved, but for the most part, um, all these seeds that I have over the years, what I plant is generally what I get. So, But that's the excitement. That's, that's what keeps me going with my seeds, is every year, uh, due to cross-pollination and uh, what other factors... Um, my Kongs, I'll get a little different colors or little different designs. I mean, they're Kongs, but there's just always a little some surprise, size or intensity. It's just, that's what really keeps me going. It's what's so exciting about it. So if you want to get some Jim's Holiest of Coleus seeds, Jim's Coleus on eBay, starting tomorrow. I mean, it's active now, but, uh, and I've sold quite a few. 
<clears throat> and I do, as of all my Coleus sales, whether it's my farmer's market, my YouTube channel uh, here, or um, my eBay store, I donate a portion of all my sale money through the year to Wounded Warriors or the USO, and also the Adelaide Koala, uh, Koala Rescue uh, over in Australia. We kind of forgot about the... Uh, the bushfires over there, it's off the front page of the news because of everything else going on in the world, right? Okay, excuse my little messy kitchen here. Um, so, uh, the coleus uh, rootings are doing pretty well. You're going to notice a couple of weird things. Uh, People ask, can coleus start growing seed stalks when they're rootings? Um, yes, they can. They are. Um, all right, so there's there's no insects in here to pollinate these, but it is it is developing a seed stalk, so we're going to keep this going. And what I do with this, because what happens sometimes, uh, I'll keep it I'll keep it tilted like this. I'm, I definitely want to get some seed stalk, seeds from this, so I'll keep it tilted. I'm going to keep a paper plate under here because the seeds will eventually just fall off. Because I'm not going to mess with this. The seeds will end up falling off. The petals and seeds will fall off onto the white paper plate. And I have my seeds right there. And then eventually I'll cut this. Um, so, but yeah. Uh, another thing you may notice. You're going to... Uh, this is a natural part of overwintering coleus. Whether it's a rooting or a plant. You're going to lose leaves. They're going to turn like this. They're going to turn... You're going to lose color. They're going to get white. And they're going to either fall off or... It'll be there, and then you go to touch it, and it falls right off. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> you have all, like, you can argue, some people argue you can take all these leaves off, but I leave these on. These are really hardy. These fishnet stockings do really well. Uh, they're really hardy, hardy plants. The stems, the leaves, these are really, really hardy coleus. These do magnificently for rootings. You can see you got some, you got some debris in there, so we're going to rinse that out. Um, <clears throat> here's a defiance. Now you can see what I mean. Um, that's not insect. That's just old. It's just, um, but you can see, you see, you can almost see, I don't know if it really shows up on the camera. You can almost see through them. They start to thin. Um, they get, the, the red gets very washed out and it just, that's, that's the nature of overwintering. This now this is still alive. It's fine. It's it's doing well. So um, yeah, so it's fine. It's just washed out. Um, this should make it the whole winter. Uh, again, I got some debris. Always something falls off. These little baby leaves on the bottom fall off, and they get in there. And that's what I mean. That's a lot of organic stuff that you want to wash out. Uh, here's a uh, a Saturn. Uh, it's doing fine. Yeah, you know, the curled leaves are a little curly, um, but it's doing okay. Definitely needs to wash uh, water. You see that root ball? Pretty extensive root ball. So that's why I say you can gently rinse that out. You don't have to disturb. There's no, you don't see any any organic matter, any degree in there. So just gently wash it out. You can even do like a little soak like this, um, and then just gently gently rinse it out. Is another is the uh, fishnet, and I got a number of other ones here. Is another is another Saturn. Now you can see this is a really long stem, a leggy long stem with a pretty magnificent root ball. I would say uh, this again. You want to just check it because it gets really thick, and this is what a month and a half old. This will get pretty extensive. Gently rinse it. Just give it a little bath like this and rinse it. Just gently see. Here we go. Let's get that on camera. Just gentle. You see all that debris. Here you see the debris come out. So just gently rinse it. Nothing crazy. You don't want to upset the whole ecology, whatever you want to call it. Just gently rinse it. It's not rocket science, but the reason uh, why this is such a and yeah, I fill it up pretty 
because that extensive root ball, because this is such an extensive root ball, this thing drinks up a lot of water. So I'm not worried about having roots, and, and actually I don't mind having roots up really high on this, because this is going to go into one of my deep planters, one of those big concrete planters I have on my deck. This one's going to go into one of those. So um, I can use all this, and that's why this is this is going to be a really healthy, magnificent Saturn coleus in the spring. So stay tuned, watch, remember this and its brother, because we're going to have a beautiful, beautiful coleus in 2021. Okay, uh, again, all, like I said, I, I primarily have, I uh, just have a Defiance, uh, Saturn, and some uh, black um, fishnet stockings. Here's another one, really extensive root ball. I'm sure this has plenty of debris. Here you can see some debris right there. So we want to gently rinse that out. If you can't get it out, don't mess with it with your hand. Just kind of, there you go, it just fell out. It generally comes out. Just give it a little general bath like this. Um, do what kind of temperature water do I use? I don't put really ice cold. Um, room temperature water, it's not going to shock them. They're not going to die. I mean, not, I'm not putting refrigerated water, and I'm using regular tap water. I'm not using filtered water. No, you don't want to use filtered water. Um, and this is, like I said, this again, this is going to be in a, in a pretty deep planter, so we're filling this up. This this vase is going to be filled up pretty well. But you can see there's some debris there. So we fill this up because this thing really, this is a thirsty fella. And it's doing really well. This is, I mean, this, I guess these are two months old. So again, these fishnets are awesome for uh, rootings. So make sure we get plenty of water. Because like I said, they, these are, this is a nice long stem, uh, a leggy stem. And that's what I want from my planter. <clears throat> and there's another Saturn. So, or I think I showed you that one already. I showed you that one. I'm getting old. I'm getting old. So this is the other one here. And uh, again, this one's uh, not quite as extensive. Root ball. Just gently. You see some debris come out of there. Okay, there you go. So, and this one still has This isn't really that washed out yet. So this one's doing pretty well. Uh, you know, these are all at, by pretty bright locations, the windows. Um, and it, honestly, it's been so mild here. Um, here we are in mid-November, and it's been like this this week, the past four days or so, it's been like summer. I've been wearing shorts. It's been uh, mid, mid-70s, mid but beautiful. No, very little humidity, but it's just been beautiful. So uh, anyway, the coleus, uh, coleus are loving it. So there's a few others. Eh. This one here. I really got to find a different uh, a different vase for this one. This isn't really the best for it, but this has got a pretty extensive root ball as well. They're all pretty extensive at this point. And you can see there's some debris in there. Make sure there's no mold. There shouldn't be any kind of mold. Um, is there a difference between? Um, is there a benefit? between having a, uh, a solid jar as opposed to one that lets light in. Um, these are really decorative, obviously. Um, the thing with these clear ones is if they're gonna be in sun and you're not careful with them, you know, you might, be, you might get some funny, funky stuff growing, but I don't have that problem because I make sure I change my water. I mean, even though this week I was busy, it's six days, but, you know, obviously the water is not sticking around. When you start getting roots, root balls this extensive, the water's not sticking around long enough to grow mold. Believe me, this puppy's going to, in in three days or whatever, two, you know, three days, there's going to be about this much water left. So 
these drink up pretty well, but there is a difference, you know, the light will, you know, um, is the light benefiting the roots more? Well, really think about it. When you plant col uh, any plant in the soil, are the roots exposed to light? No, so there's your answer. So uh, I, don't, I don't see any difference between having them in a, a, uh, a cup and a, uh, a translucent cup, uh, vase rather. Um, yeah, keep up your on your um, your rootings. Make sure you change the water, rinse the and root balls and so forth. And uh, any questions, uh, you know, feel free to to ask. I don't mind. Uh, Instagram, check my Instagram page. If you have a coleus problem and you want to take a picture of it and stuff, send it to my cole. Um, you know, join my Instagram channel. And uh, once we're hooked up together on Instagram, you can actually send me a picture through the uh, Instagram channel or. Facebook even better, Messenger, Facebook Messenger, so, um, and again, check out Jim's Coleus on eBay for some Coleus seeds, um, and again, it'll be in Jim's Holius of Coleus, I should be expecting to change the name in another day or two, so it'll be Jim's Holius of Coleus on eBay, um, I'm going to try to uh, lower the price a little bit, um, I put the price up, uh, because it's a lot of work, I have to separate all the seeds, um, I have to bag them, mark them, and ship them out to you. Shipping is, is pretty expensive, but I'm, I'm setting up a, um, a, a printer system through eBay where I can maybe lower the shipping costs. I'm going to try to lower the price of the seed so I can sell them more. Uh, it's not all about making money, but I do do know between the shipping costs, the, the kickback I have to give to eBay, the kickback I have to give to PayPal, the tax and stuff, it whittles it down quite a bit, and you know I have to buy uh, baggies, uh, the shipping packages, the labels, and stuff. So it adds up. But anyway, um, I do like to donate money to the USL Wounded Warriors, uh, phone cards, all that good stuff. So hey, before we close, I'm going to go out and show you. I winterized all of my coleus containers. Everything is done. So this is what basically it looks like during the winter here. So let's go take a look. As impatient Newton wants to go out as well. All right, so so this is it here. Here we are in fall. Although it feels like summer, it's 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 actually a warm, humid day today. But you can see my my multi-season garden. A lot of the uh, foliage. We took out the hibiscus. We pulled those out or cut them down to the ground. All the daisies and still got some marigolds growing. The um, butterfly bushes are. They're not really growing anymore. They're starting to uh, turn. Um, there's that uh, weeping cherry is pretty much um, done. That should be dropping the rest of his leaves shortly. Uh, Rosa Sharon is done. They're all down. The grass looks great. The grass is still nice and green. It's growing. Uh, I got four Cynthia's in the background. But anyway... This is what I do with my planters. I pull all the coleus out. Um, because these planters were pretty expensive. I think they were like 400 bucks a piece. Um, so I, uh, I pull the, I keep the soil in. I pull out the coleus, and I cover them with plastic and tape them up. Uh, this is just a little planter. That was that beautiful mix that's cut. And along here, all of the planters here, I, I actually pulled the whole, um, this I did not, but basically the other smaller planters, that big, um, we'll walk over to the greenhouse real quick, the big Saturn, that big monster Saturn in the uh, fruit basket, that big fruit basket, um, I pulled that out, that was all roots, it was completely roots, so... There's the basket, and again here are all my pots. Those are all those were all along the uh, this perimeter. Some hanging baskets I have left over, and this is it. And you know, um, when I get time, I'm gonna clean all this out. I clean all the leaves and organize things. And in a little while, when I get a chance, I uh, separate all the uh, soil. So excuse my Yorkies. But hey, I got some soil here left over, so I'll actually grind up 
all of that, separate all of the organic material, as much of it, and they reuse a lot of the soil because it's still pretty good. There's still lots of, uh, of goodness in it for other plants, and I mix it in with good potting soil, good quality miracle Grow potting soil. So, so this is it. This is basically... Um, it's been so hot the past few days, I've been leaving this open because it was well over 100 in here. Um, you know, I did dry it out, that's good, but now it's it's done. I don't want to do a lot of damage to things um, because everything's closed. So we keep this locked up. And this is it. And also before we close again, I uh, wanted to wish all, uh, thank all the veterans out there for this Veterans Day. Um, uh, doing what I can to help you guys out. And uh, all you, all you, those who follow my uh, channel and subscribe, um, again check out Jim's Holius of Coleus, Jim's Coleus on eBay. Buy some seeds, so forth. We'll make some more donations to the USO and Wounded Warriors. So, uh, so in closing, uh, Happy Veterans Day to all the uh, warriors out there and heroes, men and women who served the, in the uh, military. Okay, until then. Take care, everybody. Thanks for watching. Jim's Holius, Coleus, and we'll talk to you soon.